Hi, this is a typical small project for sound variation creation with no markers or any other setup. Now watch me render all variations in one click. Introducing RenderBuddy, a context-sensitive one-button render tool for SFX and library creation, which automatically detects and renders sound variations. And because of this automatic detection, there is pretty much no prior setup or workflow adherence required. Your trusty render buddy will handle it. Let's run it again and go over some basics. As you can see, render buddy detected all sound variations automatically. The variations are automatically named based on the first found folder in the hierarchy. Visual helpers will make the variations more pronounced and a placeholder track displays overhead region previews. This will come in handy later. And RenderBuddy exclusively uses the default Reaper Render interface and supports pretty much all functionality. As mentioned before, RenderBuddy is context sensitive. If nothing is selected, so neither tracks nor items, variations will be created based on all items within the project. If any items are selected, variations will be created based on the selected items and only the selected items. They don't even have to be in the same folder. If no items are selected, RenderBuddy will base the variations on the selected tracks and, finally, if only a folder is selected, it will create variations based on the folder's whole content. And here comes the neat part. If multiple folders are selected, RenderBuddy will detect variations and render them for each folder individually in sequence. Meaning you can automatically detect and render a huge number of variations for different sounds in one go. Oh, and when doing track-based rendering, you can determine the region you want to be rendered with the loop region start and end times. Keep in mind that, for all of this, you really only need one button click and will usually be able to click render right away without any manual region or item management. But wait, there's more! Maybe you have multiple variations of a sound on the same track. This is where name switches come in. You can create and name them using the create name switch action. If the render process reaches such a name switch, all following sounds will be named after the switch and numbering will restart from one. The different sounds will get individual colors and the utilized name switches will blink. This is also where the overhead region previews come in. You can clearly see and verify where everything is. And when giving a name switch item a specific color, the created regions and visual helpers will get the same color. The last main feature is the fact that pretty much all wildcards work. Since RenderBuddy basically is a hybrid of track and region based rendering, you can, for example, add the folders wildcard. Simply add the wildcard and save the settings. The parent folders will even get highlighted. RenderBuddy also features some configurable key modifiers. Alt will skip the render dialog entirely and render with the previously used settings, making it a true one click experience. When not doing a batch render, Shift will allow you to enter a custom name before rendering. Control will keep the regions after rendering, and if you've got one or multiple folders selected, Caps Lock will automatically process and render all of their subfolders in sequence. The modifiers stack, so you could press Shift, Alt, Control, and would be asked to rename the file, it would skip the render dialog, and then keep the regions. And naturally, RenderBuddy also comes with settings to customize it to your needs. Noteworthy is the gap length setting. It allows you to set the gap length for variation detection in seconds. The default of minus one means that it will always be exactly one beat, no matter what BPM your project is set to. RenderBuddy was created with ease of use in mind and in order to save time and remove the need of cluttering the project with regions and markers just for the sake of rendering. If that sounds good to you, I hope you'll enjoy it. And that's it for today, so thanks and have a good one.